Hi guys, School here, back with some Train Simulator, and we're going to carry on with this Miami West Palm Beach. In the previous video, I did part one, which is this one here, managed to get a Silver Star. And in this one, we're going to carry on exactly where it left off, and it's on the early morning run. It does say it's cloudy this time, so obviously that, that uh, fog has become cloud. I was kind of hoping it would be sunshine, but it's not to be. Passengers are aboard, so you can head straight away to the next stop at Fort Lauderdale Brof Broward. Fort Lauderdale Broward. Broward? Broward? Who knows how you say that? Let's get on with it. A few lovers have been checked, and the commuters from here at Cypress Creek are already on board. Schedule stops are part two, are blah, 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 blah. Now, if you remember the end of part one, I actually parked this a little bit further down than this, so this isn't the same train. <laughs> okay, uh, clear to proceed to Fort Lauderdale Broward on your next passenger pickup. Oh, pickup passengers, Fort Lauderdale Broward. Yeah, they're already aboard. Let's go. Get a wiggle on. Bye bye, people. Actually, although it says it's cloudy, look, you've got shadow here. There is actually some sunshine. Nice. It's a lot less gloomy than that first scenario. Early morning sun, you can't beat it. Oh cool, there's another train coming. I wonder if we can get a, uh, a trackside view. Oh. Scumbag game. Oh, it's the passenger one. Exactly the same, but they've got the uh, dining cars and the extra... Look at that. Why can't I have that? I'm stuck with this poxy little one. It's like the truck stoppers. Right, truck drivers. Looking forward to American Truck Simulator. <laughs> well, as, I, as I'm recording this, I'll be going to Gamescom next week, where uh, quite a few of the gang from SCS are going to be there showing American Truck Simulator. So that should be interesting. Okay, we're approaching... 60 miles per hour. We are in America, so it's miles per hour, not kilometers. Let's just back off the throttle here. Because we are about to go speeding. Again, empty roads. This one's busy. Hello, good morning! <laughs> He's just not chatty at all. It just, just, just freaks me out every time I see that. Just kind of twitchy guy here. It's supposed to be me. I'm not having any of it. 4.8 miles to Fort Lauderdale. Should we have a compass in here? I'm kind of curious of where... Actually, it's morning, isn't it? So that's east, so we're heading south. Don't need a compass. Just a bit of knowledge. Yeah, we must be heading south. That must be east. That's actually quite a nice view. Look at that. Beautiful. Kind of hazy Miami sunshine. Oh god. Speeding. No! 72 points lost looking at the sun. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. You should be able to get points back if you're looking at scenery. A scenery bonus. 25 limit incoming. It is pretty nice scenery, this. I mean... You do see the assets being reused. And that's understandable. You know, you see the same trucks, the same bits of bridges. Um, but, you know, it's not bad. I'm going to throttle down now. See if we can cruise down to 45. Listen to that. That's so cool. 
What does that say? Miami's what? Miami's nice. <laughs> A play on Miami Vice. Right, let's get the brakes going. Quite a long platform, so that's good. Let's back off the brakes a touch. What time are we due here? 7.55. Okay, we're on time. The back of the train is on. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have to walk down to the train, I'm afraid. Train stops here, not down there. Fort Lauderdale citizens. You better get a wiggle on. You've got like a minute to get on my train. Sorry to make you walk a bit further. I mean, you can go out that way, sir. Look, you lot, you, woman with your coffee. Seriously, you're going to miss the train. I'm not hanging around. You get on the train or you're going to miss. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's actually going to miss the train. I did warn you. Was it worth it? Not running with your cappuccino. You gotta wait for the next train now. She probably blames me for not pulling up down there. Let's get throttled up. Oh, it's so much nicer on the outside. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that. Train's just catching the sun rays. Now these houses here, they they seriously might remind me of GTA. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto houses, aren't they? You know, like where Trevor lives. I mean, obviously it's a bit, it's a bit tidier than where Trevor lives, but similar kind of housing style. It's like it's all industrial along this track here, but then it's all residential over there. Is that the sea or is that the draw distance? That's the sea as well. Actually, it's both sides, isn't it? I don't know. Can we see the sea on both sides from here or is that just a draw distance thing? I actually don't know. Wow, look at that. There's some people here with some pretty nice boats. That's all I'm saying. Lost points for scenery looking again. Never learn. <laughs> if I cared about the gold medal more, I would just stay inside the cabin and not look at the scenery. Well, I can join and see what the map makers have made. Look at that palm tree. That is so weird. Okay, what's this? Fort Lauderdale Airport. Okay. Arrive 802, ETA 801, so we're on time. That's a good thing. Let's see if you can see it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Wow. There it is. Train taking off. Uh, plane taking off. Train taking off. It's coming right over here, that's so cool! <laughs> Is that Rhino? <laughs> I'm joking. As if. <laughs> ah, little things like that. You see them in Trin, uh, Euro Truck as well, they're quite nice when you see them. Not in the base Euro Truck, but there are things like that in TSM. And then Pro Mods have done them as well. In fact, in TSM, they've even got a, uh, I think it's a, a space, um, like a UFO. <laughs> I think it's in a UFO. 
No, I'm not making that up. Right, it's throttled down. Not seen a whistle sign yet. Now this is some nice scenery here. Look at this. This part of it is gorgeous. No whistle. Coming round the bend to uh, into the platform. Makes it that bit harder to judge. Actually, it looks like a short platform. I need to be careful. <laughs> I need to time this one. Hello, good morning. Right, let's get the brakes on now. What can I get away with without it being emergency brakes? 94%? I think I've slightly overdone it. Oh no, it's not so bad. Where's the, where's the back? Mm, just about over the crossing. Actually, that's bang on. Look at that. That is spot on Arena. Look, cleared the, uh, cleared the road. Barriers should go up at this point. Those barriers should go up. I actually don't think they're operational. I think it just leaves them permanently down like a big cop-out. But that's exactly the kind of thing that should be scripted in this game. So I, I pass here, those barriers go up, the cars carry on. They don't despawn or respawn. Nothing strange happens. That's where this game should be at. And there should be scripting support in it so that the map authors can make that kind of thing. Then it would be cool. Then we could see some really cool stuff. Honestly, games that allow you to have mods and DLC should support some kind of scripting language underneath. Just to give you... A, I mean, World of Warcraft is a case in point. World of Warcraft scripting language, you can just rewrite the entire UI. And people have done it. They can just throw away the default UI and take a totally redone one from a mod. Uh, that's where those games are at. Obviously, scripting scenery changes a little bit more involved, but it's still doable. Especially when they go to... Um, is it Unreal Engine 4 they're moving to? This, this game to, I think? Well, it's, it's successors moving to that anyway. They should be able to allow scripting with that. Okay, all aboard, people. We are about to leave. Not that there's anybody there. It's all very quiet around here. Brakes released. Throttle up. Bye bye. Full power. We've got a schedule to keep to. You know, it's funny with um, with aircraft. Like they try and not use full power <laughs> to preserve the life of the engine. But with this, you have no choice. If you don't do it, you're just not going to get there on time. Palm trees. Palm trees and sunshine. And probably mosquitoes, given all the swampland. Good morning! <laughs> Imagine sat in your car, right, and a freight train goes past. And the engine driver's got his head out the window and he's going, Good morning! And he's waving his cap at you. <laughs> Dude, I hate you. <laughs> you just sat at these lights, waiting for your stupid train. Oh, that's funny. That'd be a surefire way to annoy people. And I remember to turn the bell off. Half a mile. We're all good. Sheridan Street. Wow, look at the stop after. Are you kidding me? That's even closer. Yeah, I may have left the braking a bit too late. Because this is not a long platform. This is a really, really short platform. And I'm just going to overshoot it by quite at least a carriage, possibly two. One. 
two. <laughs> Good passengers in the front two carriages. Please move to the back. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh my god. Are they actually getting out? There they are. Like, oh, I hate you, squirrel. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it happens. Now and again. Well, a lot. <laughs> Next stop, Hollywood track. Arrive 809. Okay, we got this. I'll nail this one, I promise. I'll do it for you guys. Well, I get my time at this point, so that's all that matters. Ooh, finally managed to get it to, to wheel slip. I was wondering if I could get this thing to wheel slip. One point two miles. Barely got time to get up to forty or fifty, I think. Oh, that sunshine's gone. I was liking that as well. How many stops have we got? Eight. Okay. I'm pretty certain I didn't see a whistle sign. That's my excuse. Nothing but oranges! That's all these people eat. I don't think I'd want to live so close to, um, I mean that water's very still. Wherever you get still water, you do get little insects and mosquitoes. I can't imagine what it's like. They must have to have insect nets all the time and just constantly get bitten. You can't avoid it, can you? I know they spray everywhere in, in Florida with insect repellent and all this kind of thing, but... You must get a bit a lot. That's the only downside, really. Oh, that and the 45, 50 degree humid temperatures. But apart from that, it's all good. Good morning, sir. High five. No. High five. No. Excuse me, miss. They won't high five me, will you please? No. Okay. Fine. Be like that, citizens. Okay, open doors. Now that was a good one. But then the platform was quite long. Even so, I think I judged it quite nicely. Hollywood. We're in Hollywood! Oh my god, we're in Hollywood! It can't be. We're in the wrong place for Hollywood. <laughs> How does that work? Cool beans. Let's go. I'm going to get about 60% throttle. Aha, Golden Glades. Seven and a half miles. Now we've got a bit of a run. Bye-bye, Chrome Car. We've seen you before. Minus 50 points. Inappropriate use of horn. Okay, so far, so good. We've arrived on time, we've left on time. Only lost a few points for bits of speeding here and there. Good to see cars on the highway. Although, I think that white car might be about to undertake some people. Oh no, he's coming up behind that one, it's fine. Oh look, the Big Mac shop, that's the factory where they make them all, and this is where they make the oranges. Or rather, they process the oranges. That's definitely the end of the scenery right there, look at that. 
definitely the end of the scenery. Oh, imagine being in that taxi. You could be... Imagine that, actually. Hey, how does that work in America? If you get in a taxi... <laughs> right. You book a taxi across town to your mate's house or something. And then on the way, you hit a level crossing with a, one of those massive freight trains that just takes 20 minutes for the train to cross. Does the taxi driver charge you or does he not charge you? Because quite frankly, I think if that... I'd probably just get out the tra taxi. I'd be like, okay, dude, I'm done. I'm not sitting there for 20 minutes while you bill me. Like another twenty dollars. So I would have thought he just turns the meter off and sucks it up. That seems like the the reasonable thing to do. Otherwise, people would just rage quit the taxi at that point. But I don't know. <laughs> if you know, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know. Everywhere you look, there's just like pockets of water. American football stadium. Nice. I wonder if there's any way of gauging how long the platform is before you get there. Or is it just a case of experience teaches you that? There's no sign anywhere to say how long this platform is. Actually, I've got a sneaky feeling we're going to be stopping on the other side. Okay, so that's new. I think we've overshot. <laughs> Again. Just the one carriage, maybe. Or maybe two. Flipping heck, it's taking a while to stop. Sorry, if you're on passenger passengers on uh, carriage one and two, you could you move down again, please? Uh, we've kind of missed the platform. Don't blame us; it was on the wrong side of the track, and we got confused. Luckily and weirdly, the game doesn't penalise you for this. Like, although I'd hate it, part of me thinks that the game should look at how many carriages were allowed to open. Like, if that platform is long enough for, let's say five carriages yeah so the game goes that platform's five carriages long your train only three of them opened i'm going to deduct you 30 points per carriage that you didn't open that would be fair and make sense and i would lose a lot of points and i'd hate it but i think it should go in the game for game game mechanic purposes i believe it would make sense i don't know what do you think it seems a bit weird that I can overshoot a platform like that and not lose a single point. As long as I stop on time, as long as a carriage door opens, that's it. That's all that matters. Right, next stop. Opaloka. Opaloka. Two miles away. And then it's, what, seven minutes to the next one? Eight minutes to the next one? And six minutes to the one after that. So you keep into schedule. But overshot the platform and made a few operational errors, some speeding errors and stuff. Down to 45 because of level crossing, so I'm pretty certain that's what it is now. Speed down quick enough. But I did remember to turn my bell off. Yeah, we'll be driving those soon enough. American Truck Simulator. Although I'll be in California, we won't actually be here. Do you know what? I, I've been thinking about this one. Like, what is going to be the first state? that somebody releases like not like not official one what's going to be the first state I wonder 
I reckon Florida's got a New York maybe. It's got to be. Flo Somebody's going to do Florida without a doubt. I'd be amazed if SCS doesn't do Florida fairly quickly. It'd be such a beautiful place to do. Yeah, 823. Okay, we're, we're due on time. So there's the platform ahead. Not sure if I saw the whistle sign or not. I'm going to whistle anyway. Save, overdo it or underdo it. Look at that. It's very hard to judge it correctly. Are they what the heck is that? It's like some kind of weird Lego castle. Oh my. Look at this. This is going to be pretty tricky to judge correctly. I'm going to try and get this right, people. You've got a choice. You either have your train on time or you have all the doors opening. Which do you want? Actually, that is not a bad effort. If I do say so myself. I mean, that you'd have to have that door right there in order to get that door on the platform that is ferociously difficult that one very quiet these platforms aren't they bye bye See you later. Ooh, pick up passages from Metro Rail Transfer Station. Full throttle. I think once you've got about 20 miles per hour out of this thing, you can full throttle it without weed slip. I'm, what's working for me is 60%, and then 20 miles per hour, 100%. Seems to work nicely. Truckers car park. Metro Trail Transfer Station 1.58 miles. I think I've got the speed now. 12% just about holds me at the right speed. It creeps up ever so slightly. What's that kind of jump between... 0% and 12% it's basically notched wow this that, now that is a lot of lines what the heck is going on here are you actually kidding me we must be coming into some massive terminal train terminal here or maybe freight cargo that kind of thing I'd expect to see these filled up with stuff Again though, why is it 40 miles per hour down here? Not really seen why yet. American flag! Not sure what the significance is around here, but the flag's flying. ETA 8.31, so we're due on time. It's good. If you ride the train, you'd be home by now. If you ride the train, you'd be home by now. That's a bit of a weird sign to put when it's facing the train. I mean, surely you put that kind of sign on a road, not on a train line. <laughs> it's a bit of an odd thing to say on a train line. Okay, well, I can't see the platform just yet. We're not going very fast. We've actually got a single yellow above us as well. Uh, 
Let's get some brake on. There's the brakes. This is another short platform that's going to have to be judged. What time was we in? 8.31. Okay. Got 30 seconds to try and get this right. Power up very slightly there. I guess the driver wants to be pretty much where the road is, doesn't he? For this to work properly, like that. Again, I think maybe it should be further forward just to get, yeah. Just to get that back door on. I tell you what, the tolerances are just tiny, aren't they? The driver's got to get his train, like his carriage would have to be there if you if put it there then the door would just about be here and then that back door would be in unbelievable there's like one passenger come on people why are you not using the trains they're driving around everywhere get on board my lovely train that likes to overshoot and make you walk back <laughs> I can't understand why people don't want to travel by train. Metro rail transfer. Next stop is the final one, I think. Uh, Hayali Market, 8.37. Five minutes down the road. In fact, I got here so early, we had to wait absolutely ages. Yeah, 62% throttle. Nobody here! But that space there is 14 foot 9 high. We know that. That's a fact. There's bits of rubbish on the... Uh, you keep seeing this stuff. Again, completely empty. What the heck? Now you don't see that very often. Train tracks crossing each other. Wow. Imagine those pieces of metal that are in the cross. Flipping heck. They must be extra thick to stop them bending. scenery and the sunlight and stuff. Hang on, let me tease some people. Bye! We're moving, you're not. Ha ha. <laughs> oh god, I'm speeding. I know what you're saying. You're saying karma. And I say chameleon to that. We've got a 20 mile an hour limit per head. I'm wondering if this is a terminus or something. People just love being here. Those trains going past tooting the horns all the time. Hang on a minute. That's on red. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not just 20 miles an hour. That's on red. Wait, have you got a pink pickup? You, you better be a woman in there. Otherwise, somebody's under the thumb. Just saying. <laughs> Where's the signal? That's all in red, isn't it? It is indeed. I think that's over our line. Wow, that's like the first red signal we've had. Cool. I'm just going to cruise up to this thing. Is that on yellow now? Green. He must have been on our line and he's just switched over. 
I assume that's what happened. He was here and he moved over there. Because we're now green, so... That would make sense. Yeah, all these um, tracks are merging. Oh no, somebody's thrown away a rusty chrome car. <laughs> That's green. Okay, what else have we got going on down here? Wow, look at this. This is weird. One, two... Three tracks merge into one. That goes off into two very short sidings. Then this one runs down the edge. This is the weirdest thing. You people around here, you, you design your trains in a very strange way. What's all this about? I mean, what use is that dead end? Huh? And why is it 20 miles per hour? I don't know. Well, that wouldn't stop anything, would it? So I'm going to have to be here. 8.37. Flipping heck, it's 8.37 now. I'm going to be late. Oh, I should be okay. I take it back. I'm just going to time this platform stop perfectly. Stop posing! And you? What's with this town? Hallier Market? They've all been clothes shopping. They're all, like, massively posing. Right, let's try and time this one. Hmm. Rear door's not going to open again, I reckon. Oh no, it's fine. Platform's long enough. Yay! We did it! Both scenarios done. Nice. I've got at least a bronze in the bag. Maybe a silver. I can't remember how many points I lost. That's the problem. Well, that was some interesting scenery. Lots of it. Blimey, there was lots of it. Awesome work. All pickups completed successfully with no problems. Time to relax. Scenario complete. Oh. Just missed out on the silver. Too many speedings, I think. Yeah. Quite a few of them, actually. This is the worst block here. Why does it have to show it in this, this stupid way? It should just say 62 points in so many seconds. Oh, I was so close. 700. Dang it. Oh, well. The main thing is, I managed to do it. That is part one and part two of Capital of Latin America done. That was the F40 PHL2, Miami, West Palm Beach. There are a few other scenarios to do in West Palm Beach. Some freight, some otherwise. But that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video and of that train and Florida in general, Miami in general. Let me know if there's any other scenarios you'd like me to try. Take care, guys, and happy training.